It's a battle of the unbeaten. The St. Albert Falcons welcome the Southwest Valley Timberwolves in the driving rain. Wasting no time, the Falcons convert a 4th and 10 on their first drive for the touchdown. A 29-yard strike from senior QB Kyle Barnes to senior wideout Blake Rollis. St. Albert up 7-0 in the first. Southwest Valley is stuffed in the opening frame, but the Falcons see their drive stall as well. Three botched snaps would result in 49 lost yards for the Falcons tonight. The weather is wreaking havoc, and the punters are putting in the work. In the second, Timberwolves QB Chance Cobb completes one of his five passes, and they're driving. But a 47-yard field goal is no good. A sloppy field and stout defense has both teams hitting halftime with the score St. Albert 7, Southwest Valley 0. And fans are hitting the concession stands looking for something warm in the rain. Let's pick it up in the fourth. Timberwolves driving late with the score still 7-0. Chance Cobb gets loose down to the six yard line on a huge run. He'd have 59 yards on the ground for the contest. Two plays later, Southwest Valley pushes through for the score with just seven seconds left. And hold your breath, they're going for two. Senior leader Chance Cobb bulldozes through and St. Albert is stunned. Wolves lead eight to seven. One last gasp for the Falcons, and Barnes is sacked for the third time. Southwest Valley wins. It's just a tough game. We lost a couple guys early. Uh, obviously, the field was in horrible condition. Uh, that doesn't take away from how well Southwest Valley played. Um, you know, they won the football game, and, and uh, we just have to win out now, get into the playoffs, and uh, be fortunate to go on the road and not have to play here again. You know, it's, it's just tough. I mean, you have two really good teams. You'd like to play it on a field that, you know, you could, you could both show what you could do. Um, again, they played on the same field we did, so I take nothing away from what they accomplished. St. Albert falls to 6-1 on the year, with two games remaining in the regular season. For the Bluff Sports Zone, I'm Matt Case.